so this is a video that I've been wanting to make for quite some time but didn't really have the energies I guess to do it why now <clears throat> I feel like I don't know I feel like I'm ready so I have my my comfortable blankets I have my snoopy tea <laughs> Um, so this situation happened in 2018 I found out that uh, I was pregnant and everybody was in shock because everybody knew that Vanessa would never become a mom because of how she is. <laughs> I just had a different perspective on that. And, but I ended up pregnant and um, when I was about maybe six and a half, seven months pregnant, me well she messages me because I was um, not living with them um, and she messages me and she's like call me and I was like mm -mm. Uh, so I called her and her tone I was like what's wrong And she told me that her cancer had came back. And I just broke down. Just in my head, I just thought of so many things like, you got to be kidding me. This is not happening. Cause you know, everybody always tells you stay calm, stay at peace when you know, when you're pregnant. just ever since then it was non-stop crying I have never ever ever loved anybody in this world more than how much I loved my mother everybody always says oh wow well, when you have your you know your child you're gonna love that child more than anybody but my mentality was how can I love somebody I never even met but to me personally it's just a different type of love but so I go back to my hometown and I'm living with my cousin Things are happening fast and my life is changing. So I did things a little bit backwards. <laughs> so I ended up having a baby. Then the following month, I get married things that were never really in my plans not because I never wanted it really just because I was just scared it's scary you know to have that responsibility of a mother and then a wife and you know from what I witnessed with my family, I'm just like, no, oh, thank you. So that's why nobody ever saw this coming. So my baby, my 
baby was only two months when I lost my mom. I was my mom's only child. And I finally had the girl that everybody wanted in the family because, you know, we're mostly boys. So how it's been these last several years, it's been hard. Where do I get my advice from? Where do I Who do I go to when I need a break? You know, those things are things are just very hard to sometimes accept. But I'm very, very blessed to have the people that I have now in my life because I have amazing, amazing friends and just my family who has been around me and really shown me who they really are. My tia is my daughter's nani. <laughs> And I love it. I have friends that were my mom's friends and they say that they are their um, adopted grandma. And I love it. You would think I would be mad or people that know me because of my attitude, you know, you would think that I would get mad and stuff. But no, I love it. Because these are people that truly, truly care about me, my daughter, you know, and I'm just so grateful for that. You know, I'm very also blessed to have my father and my stepmom, who my daughter just loves so much. She was with them today all day because me and my husband had a little date. Um, and she loves to be with them. She always wants to be with them. But, you know, I do miss her. I miss her a lot, and I never, weird, but I never thought I was ever going to lose her. But one of the things that makes me stay at peace, honestly, is the fact that my mother was a loyal person. And that means to me more than anything in this world not only loyal first and foremost to God but to my family to me you know for the little time that she knew my husband she was so good to him and she would joke around with him and you know like this one incident um, he's right here by the way but my sister drives me to um, her house, my mom's house, and we had to pick up some paperwork. And my mom loves my sisters. My sisters loved my mom. Um, and when my husband got out of the car, well, first my mom went to go hug my sister, you know, even though that's not her child, that's my father's daughter. Um, but then my mom goes around the car and I'm like, are you, are you scared? He's like, oh, I'm so nervous, I'm so nervous. And then my mom just goes, she's coming by and she just says, danger, danger. And what did she say? <laughs> warning, warning, yeah. you know what I mean? And she was just so sarcastic and she was, just the best sense of humor and not what I was expecting <laughs> you know but um, she was just amazing and that's why I miss her but I'm at peace with it I'm at peace because just a lot of things that I, I will never speak about 
just not here. It's not appropriate. But but I miss her. I miss her so much. Life has been very hard after she, you know, has passed. It's so weird to say that, <laughs> but it's it's been a lot harder. I always thought that losing my mom was like the worst thing in the world, but I actually went through something a lot worse than that. And I will never speak on it again because I don't, my mom was not like that. And I'm not like that. But I stay strong because she was. You know, cancer is not, man, it doesn't discriminate anybody. <laughs> and my mom was the type of person that had perfect blood work, like perfect blood pressure. There was nothing there, nothing, nothing. When I tell you it was unexpected, it was so unexpected. She went really quick. And it's a bittersweet situation, but I am so thankful that she went quick. Because I heard how bad people suffer. But I stay strong because I promised her. I want to be strong because she was always strong right in front of me even though my heart is completely broken because of some stuff that has happened to me these last couple of years. I'm talking about bad. <laughs> Let's just say that I was losing my hair. I thought I was dying. I thought my cancer had came back because I was losing chunks of hair. Let me just say that when somebody is not loyal to you, man, your heart is literally yanked away from you. Everybody that's around me always says, just focus on your family, your husband and your daughter, because that's all that matters. And it's true. We are getting on each other's nerves but we are we're tranquilos you know we have everything that we want we have witnessed a lot of stuff especially last year I don't think nothing good came out of 2020 nothing it was bad you know, I'm, I'm just so glad it's over with because it was one of the worst years I have ever experienced in my life, honestly. You know, we're very lucky, like, to have the friends that we have that are really there for us. All I got to do is pick up my phone and just call and boom, they're right here. But... I have asked for help, you know, and I'm not ashamed of it because I'd rather be helped on than to not look for help because then I'm gonna go crazy with my thoughts. And I finally asked for help more than just in different ways and it has helped me I'm still in the process of getting you know help but 
I didn't really want to make this video long. I just wanted, you know, to let everybody know that if you lose somebody, you know, it's going to be okay. I, I'm not going to put my religious beliefs on here, but, you know, I do have my faith and that's what's keeping me as sane as possible and why I am at peace with my mom because my mother is resting right now. Let's just say that she was an incredible person. There's nobody that's ever going to love me the way that she did. Not many people can say that. A lot of people in my life are broken because she passed. And I mean broken. <laughs> but... I'm so blessed to have had her as a mother. And I'm so glad she was all mine. I have siblings, but they're on my father's side, so I had the best of both worlds. But I'm gonna continue to ask for help, get help, and there's nothing wrong with that. But I think that's it. I'm gonna try to upload more videos like I said it's just been a really bad year and very no inspirational it's hot here we get fires it's like we're stuck but honestly like I said we're tranquilos and that's all that matters my father is literally a hop, skip, and a jump. So. But yeah. Thank you for watching. And um, it's going to be okay. Thanks for listening. <laughs>